give them a big round of applause. Thank you for such a superb performance for all of us. First of all, I'd like to thank Sophia and the uh, WS uh, Immigrant and Multicultural Services Society for putting today's celebration for us to mark the 150th birthday of Canada and also a culture day. How fortunate we are to be able to sit here and enjoy such a superb performance. Not only Asian culture, but the Western culture. Immigration and multiculturalism are two of the areas that I value so much for two reasons. I'm an immigrant myself almost 30 years ago, like many of you here. I've gone through the, the journey, the very challenging journey of being a new immigrant and slowly move your way around and getting integrated with the mainstream community. And multiculturalism is very important because Canada, we pride ourselves as the most multicultural country in the world, and which we are, and we should all proud of it. I'm sure many of our immigrants here are really are grateful that we picked the right country for us to make our second home here. And I was a former multiculturalism minister for four years before I stepped down because uh, our, our party lost the election. But during the last four years, I went around the province and talked to people from different cultures. I feel we are all the same. We all have common uh, among us. It's just that we might speak different language, we might look different, but we are all the same. And it's this kind of uh, event that will move us all together, that get us understand each other much more so than without any communication. And I have to thank uh, uh, Sophia for organizing the creative writing competition. Why? Because we need communication. I always tell my audience, every time I have a chance to talk to any audience, I said that all the so-called bias, so-called discrimination, the misperception, miscommunication, because we don't communicate with one another. That's why I encourage all immigrants that, first of all, we have to learn English. We need to have a common language. If I speak Mandarin, the four ladies in front, I assume you don't understand Chinese, you don't know what I'm talking about. So how are we going to communicate with you? And that's why the first thing for all immigrants to learn in Canada, I know how challenging it is to learn another language. I was fortunate enough that I grew up in Hong Kong. We studied English when we are in kindergarten. And many immigrants are not as fortunate as I am that I came to this country knowing the language. But still, even though I speak English perfectly, I hope, but I still sometimes cannot understand the Canadian culture because I grew up in Asia. There's a lot of jokes that I don't understand. But it's okay as long as we communicate with one another. And I think multiculturalism is the best part of this country, of British Columbia. British Columbia is one of the most multicultural communities in all of Canada. So let's take advantage of the multiculturalism and thank you for organizing today's event. It's such a great venue and I know it's not easy. Oh, one more thing I tell you. When I emigrated here almost 20 years ago, you guys are much more fortunate than I am. I've never seen such a superb performance. Because of the interest of immigrants from mainland China, they bring in all the first class culture that we are also fortunate. You don't have to go all the way to China to see all this kind of performance. We can sit here and enjoy the best life in the world to enjoy all the best culture. Thank you again and congratulations. Uh, letter of recognition for all the great work WS uh, Immigrant and Multicultural Services Society, Patricia Sophie, has done in the past years. Thank you.